first thing I would do is look internally first. Really assess your business. You're growing great. What changes can you make on the team? Do you need to upskill your existing staff or your team? And upskill meaning they have a particular skill set that you can you know, support to increase that, you know, maybe giving them more training in that particular area and they can become more effective in what they're doing. You also have, you know, to look at is this team member skill not necessarily what I need now, but they're a fantastic person who's in my organization. Can I reskill them? Meaning, can I you now train them in a different area so that they can be effective in that particular area? So maybe, you know, for instance, you have a supervisor who's in one area and you needed another area to really start producing more or, you know, changes need to happen in that. Could you move that person over there? Could they take that skill set and be more effective? But if you're talking about, so I say look internally first, really assess what needs to get done rather than just mass hiring, right? So if you do need to hire though, absolutely follow your best practices. Don't just hire the first set of people to come along because you need to respond to this growth. Do your proper hiring. Start with what jobs do you need to actually create in the business, right? What roles are needed? Why are those roles needed? What needs to happen? How many people need to fill these roles, right? Have a very clear picture of that. And then when you start to recruit, again, don't hire the first person that comes along. Have a pool of people that you've recruited. Ensure that they're hitting the mark on your culture, your company culture, which is so important, especially as you grow. Because as you grow and expand, that is where your company culture starts to fade. Because you start bringing people in the organization who don't have the same vision as you, or who don't buy into that vision and that company culture, and things can start to deteriorate very quickly. And that will not bode well for you in growing. So make sure that you take the time to really do that process of creating that job description, ensuring that you do the interviews with multiple candidates, narrow that down, and then have your testing period, um, bringing new people on board and ensure that your onboarding process is, is there. So when you bring new people into the organization, ensure that they can be oriented correctly so that one, again, they buy into the vision of the company and the culture, but two, they feel like, you know, this is a place that I could really work in and I can do my best and I can really try to shine because you don't want to be having a quick turnover as you're growing and you constantly have to be training and hiring new people. So really take the time to do that process well.